Shane Heisen, Ross Krajak, your front row. Green flags in the air. It's time to let her eat. Robert Horn Ford Bomber style. And it will be Shane Heisen leading the field by himself off of turn number two with Toby Wimitow, Ross Krajak off of turn two. They made contact there as now they go side by side. Three wide behind them though for that four spot. Aaron Collier down to the inside. He washes up the racetrack. Tyler DeLong in the mix. They go four wide for a brief moment with Anthony Colatori and Krajak. I don't know how they got through that, but somehow they did. They managed to get back into turn number one. It's Ross Krajak in that four spot with DeLong in. Fifth as your race leader, Shane Heisen, spins around. He collects a few cars. Aaron Collier in the 13X tried to gas it up and get by him. Those two made contact. The front bumper came off the 80 of Heisen. And then that's when Calamity struck. The 21 with Anthony Calatori, he's in the mix as well. Looks like the 72 of J nope, Jason Knubel. He's on the racetrack with me here. Husky. Running it down. Here comes Sabowski as the green flag flies. He flies right into the second spot, side by side with Tyler DeLong. And Sabowski trying to take over that second position from Tyler DeLong. Can't quite get it yet. Now he finally will down the back straightaway off of turn number two. They work their way into turn number three. Sabowski right up to the back bumper of the 25 of Toby Wimito. Wimito trying to hang on to her off of turn number four. Sabowski trying to become your new race leader going into one. And Michael Sabowski does take that top spot away from the 25 machine of Toby Wimito. As they work their way off of turn number two. A couple of cars spin around, but they start to get going again. Looks like it's going to be Clayson and the three of green. They stay clean and green. Hey, how you like that? Jim Green. Anyways, as they get going once again off of turn number two, your race leader Sabowski already into turn number one. Yeah, and as Michael Sabowski works his way off at turn number two, he has about a car length advantage over the 24W of Justin Wyckoff. Not quite good on restarts here tonight is that 24W Wyckoff. Let's see how he is trying to navigate through lap traffic and also work into the race lead. As right now, Sabowski starting to put the three machine of green one lap down. Sabowski, Wyckoff. Knubel and the long top four all work their way around the inside of Green. Now they're going to go try to top side of Clayson. Clayson, though, not having any of it in that 2A. Randy Clayson trying to hang on on the tail end of the lead lap. Not going to happen as Sabowski gets by him on the high side. Tyler Long, he's going to sneak past the inside of Justin Wyckoff. He goes top shelf on Clayson. Clayson, though, that bumper got very big. Now it gets very big once again. He makes contact with DeLong. How long, if you're DeLong, do you hold, hang on in that second spot? Try getting that out again. As the Trenton Sedlin goes around. So Trenton Sedlin goes around, brings out the caution. Looking for the green flag at the cone. Sabowski brings him through. Turns through him four, very slow. Now he's on the loud pedal. Green flag's in the air. And Anthony Stratton, he's got to get penalized. He got up on the gas, got tired of waiting. He's going to get docked two spots. Right now he is so far being scored in the fourth spot. So he'll get docked two spots at the end of this race, or if caution comes out beforehand, he'll get docked the two spots there. But right now, it's Michael Sabowski who's hoping there's no more cautions here tonight because he is out front by himself. That's about two car length advantage over the 57 of Tyler DeLong. If you are with us last week, you saw Tyler DeLong go up and over in that 57 during the first main event of the night for the Robert Horn Ford Bombers. They did have two main events last week, catching them up from one that we had to cut short due to a curfew uh, that we were running up on during the Leland Expanding Classic. DeLong in the first 15 lap main event actually went up and over on his car. Actually watching some of that main event right now as he came back out for the second main event. And that's when him and Don Burner got into an accident. Right now, it's DeLong running in that second spot, looking pretty sporty here tonight. Jason Knupel, that car, that was almost going to make contact with the wall. Coming off of turn number four, he gets the tires back pointed straight down the front straightaway, still hanging on that third spot. Then it's Toby Wimito in fourth. Anthony Calatori, he's raced his way back up to fifth, so he's got himself a fast, hot rod here tonight. With Bomber Don, Don Burner in sixth. Then behind them, it's Ross Krajak, Colby Olivet going to do side-by-side -side battle. That is the, that is the battle for the seventh spot. Olivet, that gray car, green numbers coming off of turn number four. Ross Krajak, the orange car with those metallic silver mirrored 51R. They work off of turn number two. Still no change for that position. Now it's Olivet driving away from him. 
But the battle's starting to heat up now. Third, fourth, fifth. It's Knoop on the 72, the 25 of Toby Wibito, the 21 of Calatori. Down the front straightaway into turn number one. They are trying to chase down the 57 of DeLong. The man in second is Michael Sabowski right now on his own island. He crosses the start finish line. Works his way off of turn number two as the rest of the field just now working into turn number one. Sabowski slicing and dicing past the lap cars of Bruce Sipes and Bob Lindstrom. Get ready to pull up on Rick Hughes, Jim Green, and Randy Clayson. Clayson, who was a couple of drivers had a handful getting around him earlier on. His car darts up the racetrack going into turn number one. Something to miss on the two-way of Clayson. We'll see if he gets the car off the racetrack, down the back straightaway. Uh, yep, going to keep it on. It's 57 of DeLong, having a much easier time getting around him this time. That's third spot, Jason Knubel. Clayson, though, washes up the racetrack once again. Almost collects your fourth and fifth place running. Toby Wimito and Anthony Calatori. Well, as he made it, might have made a little contact with the 21 of Calatori. That's going to allow the 14 of Don Burner now sneak up in the top five. Don Burner looking pretty sporty here tonight. He's up to the fifth spot. Can he hold off the 21 of Calatori? So Randy Clayson finally gets his car off the racetrack as the field got bunched up behind him. Michael Sabowski, he is your race leader, leads the field into turn number three. Rest of the field just now called for turn number two. They're three wide side by side with lab cars. Jason Knupel in the third spot as we have. As Michael Zabowski, he is your race leader. The rest of the field works off a of turn number four. There are just five laps to go. Tyler DeLong right now being scored in the second spot. Jason Knupel in a third. Fourth is Toby Wimito. Fifth, Anthony Calatori. Don Burner back to the sixth position. Ross Krajak behind him in seventh. Eighth, Kobe Olivet. Justin Wyckoff, he's ninth. Bob Irish rounds out your top ten. Laps winding down. This is where, as a race leader with this sizable lead, you start hearing everything in that race car. Every ping, every pang, every pop starts sounding louder and louder with two laps to go. Michael Sabowski started this race in the 10th spot. He will lead him off of turn number four with the white flag in the air this time. One more time around for Sabowski. Trying to pick up yet another win at Arizona Speedway this year off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway through turns three and four. One final time. It's going to be Michael Sabowski picking up the main event win at Arizona Speedway. So Michael Sabowski picks up his third win of the season. And his team at Southern's number 15S. He was handing out roses earlier. Now he's going to be handing out high fives. He's your main event winner. Michael Sabowski gets it done here tonight. And this 15S Team Southern's race car, ripping up for your driving suit. No, it's awesome to come out here and win in that 15S. Uh, well, I had to make up for last weekend. <laughs> uh, the, I don't know. The track was good, I thought. But uh, I don't know. It was a good night. Yeah, good night, man. You had the field covered by about half a racetrack here tonight, picking up your third win of the season. Points leader, man, just kind of run away from this deal here as we uh, come to the midway stretch. I'm trying to because I know my, ruck's gonna, uh, my luck's going to run out. But uh, I, I want to say happy Mother's Day to my girlfriend, her first one, and then happy birthday to my best friend. And then <laughs> Justin Hare, I'm sorry for your loss this week, but we're going to celebrate tonight.
And Justin O'Hara throwing up an extra $50 here tonight as well for you. So congratulations. Michael Slabowski gets it done here tonight. Race fans, put your hands together. Make some noise for him. Make sure you make your way down to the pits as the pits are open now. Let these drivers know that you appreciate them coming out to Arizona Speedway. And want to thank all you mobs once again for coming out.